When I work with leaders and help them vertically develop, one of the things that I help them to do is a deep introspective dive to awaken to their mental blocks that are holding them back from reaching their goals and their aspirations. And I thought it'd be interesting to share with you some of the mental blocks that come out. So one person said, if I start recognizing my subordinates, then I'll have to add more work to my plate. If I stand out in meetings, then I might look stupid. If I don't sign up for everything, then I won't be part of the team. I won't be connected um, and I won't be seen as being of value. If I engage in unpleasant conversations, then I'll build a wedge in the relationship. If I actively put myself out there, then I'll be rejected. It'll be a waste of time and a big misstep. All of these things are, are blocks that people, these people feel at a deep inner level. And all of these blocks in some form or fashion are connected back to past traumatic experiences. They come about having these mental blocks for a reason. And what happens is that we have all been through trauma. We all have our own mental blocks. And if we don't work through those mental blocks and try to heal from our past trauma, we're going to continually be affected by these mental blocks that we're carrying around. They're limiting self-beliefs. And that's the impact that trauma can have on us. But the great news is, is that we can heal our minds. We could heal our body's nervous system. We could widen our window of tolerance so that we could have more of a positive impact in the world around us. So that we will be more likely to speak up, to have difficult conversations, to recognize others. There's just reasons why some people get hung up from doing these types of things. Now, we've, again, we've all got our own mental blocks. What we've got to do is we've got to awaken to what those are, then we can do something about it. And vertical development is the process by which we do that.